Hi! It is 11.20am on Saturday the 10th of August and it is time for... for day in my Bee Channel! So how are ya? So how are ya? Are you alright? We've had a morning. We have had a morning. We had high winds here last night and in the UK. And we have a big box. We have a big box. We'll get to the big box in a minute. Yeah, we had high winds here in the UK last night and um, I already needed one of the posts holding my fence up to be replaced and the guy was supposed to come out and do it. Well, um, we in the meantime wedged another post on the outside of the fence to hold it up because it was leaning out into the, there's a lane that goes down the back of our home. And uh, when I got up this morning, uh, yeah, it, it looked like this that's the the post that we were using to shore it up hang on i'm just trying to get it in focus i'm so crap at this where's the fucking focus there it is that's the um the post that we were um using to it was resting against this panel here over here what you can't really see is a bungee cord holding holding this together so we said, well, I phoned my mum, said, what should we do? And she said, well, I don't bloody know. I said, well, should we just let it go? And she said, yeah, go on then. So we let it go and, and, and yeah, now it's lying, <laughs> lying on my garden. So. <sighs> we need to go now. So it's, uh, yeah. So that was the start of it. Do you want to see some happy mail? Should we do happy mail? Yes, let's do some happy mail. So I received this this morning. These are all flower vellum stickers, aren't they gorgeous? Wow. These came from Hello Bella on AliExpress. I don't know where and these are vellum stickers, so all flowers and leaves and some really, really pretty ones in there by the look of things. And the back card looks like it might be useful as well. It looks like it's old sort of type newspaper. American agriculturalist, you know, printed off of that, so that might come in useful as well. So we'll stick all that together and tuck that in there. Then I got a big box off of Amazon, which I was like, ah, about. So um, I'm going to open it without showing you guys yes, there was my in, address. Yes, it was in the box. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to the box. Just hold your horses. In the box. I know what's in the box, darling, because it's stuff I ordered yesterday. Well, I know most of what's in the box. I think it's all for me. No, none of it's for you. It's all for mummy. Do I need some extra towel? No. There's nothing in there for you. I love all this packaging. Look at that. All, the, all of this packaging for three things. Mm. I bought some vintage photo distress this was on offer i paid less than five quid for this so i don't have any vintage photos so i was quite pleased about that a tearing ruler i've wanted one for ages and some paper mate flare the 16 pack medium point so we're going to swatch these later no i want to keep the box because i might have use for it and the paper goes down to the shelf down the road Watch these. I'll do that in a bit so you don't know oh, that's blocking all my light now. Put that on the chair. Don't touch it, yeah? That's better. So, okay. I did my night care last night. <laughs> if you're in. Oh, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Let's turn the light on. Not right now, no. So, um, to anybody who's interested, <laughs> I survived my. Uh, workout routine last night I ache a little bit today um, but I'm not doing too bad I did 29,189 steps yesterday which was not bad at all that was just under literally just shy of 12 miles so I'm really really pleased with how well I did and I just put ache because <laughs> I ached um, I didn't do anything out in the kitchen I was so freaking tired um, Jolyn, honey, there's a parcel coming your way. It's not addressed to you, though. <laughs> okay. 
it's not a parcel it's just a little it's it's a larger one of these okay the items that i promised callie are on their way and i love that your daughter's also a callie just spelled differently that's cool um so yes um as you know i stuck in this postcard i did end up putting some invisible tape down on it on this side simply just to give it a little bit of security where washi doesn't tend to be permanent um amber said amber said but i don't know how much she said I don't, why don't you tell me you had that washi and i said have you seen how much washi i've got i can't possibly keep track of it all she said no she said um do i want to do you want to amber do you, do you want to I, I am gonna click you on to the big camera there's an alex wave alex or the bottom half of an alex anyway seeing outside seeing yeah my car. yeah i wish she'd never took taken them all down yeah. that at least you know we could have built on top of that this jaw is full this jaw is full this jaw is almost full this is my a lot of my wider tapes yeah so like these Of, a lot of the wider ones that won't file neatly away and then this little box was going to be ones that I had not yet tested and then after that Wendy sent me a package all right that's how much washi I've got now I had when before Wendy sent me this I think I had in the region of about 180 washi tapes and I'll, I will be honest I've only got a couple of duplications with what Wendy sent me as well so yeah I'm looking for a better method than a really really noisy carrier bag to store it all in so I don't know how well you can see that I've got this gorgeous gorgeous stamp oops awesome tearing runner that when you stamp it up it stamps this at the bottom but I stamped it in a very very pale um sea breeze versa magic ink thing so you can't really see it it's a nice sort of swirly pattern and it says notes i don't know how well you can see on oh, no, it's a bit out of focus i could attempt the focus thing again guys and as you can see i put i started working out did 10 sit-ups 20 push-ups 30 squats seven second plank and i worked with weights so yeah i should have used a darker but you know doesn't matter i was quite pleased with that and I might use that stamp to like um, list what I do manage every day because I just think that would be a really, really good idea. So let's change the pen. Yeah, when um, I used to live in this house when I was a child and we had, um, a, if this is my garden, okay, house is here. We had a long garden like this. Just outside the, about here, there used to be a shed and next to the shed there was a gate and then the panel went down to the end there and then there was a wall breeze block wall made that and this was our driveway i moved out of here when my children were quite young because it quite frankly it was not big enough and i moved into the big house down the road um which my mum bought my sister moved into here one well, of the first things she did was she took out that breeze block wall why i don't know she didn't do anything the garden just looked like shit basically for the next 14 years so when I moved back into it, I decided I didn't need this driveway that was big enough for two cars. Of course, I never thought about the fact that one of my children would end up driving and we would need a space for two cars, because we do now. So we had the driveway dug up and the whole thing put down to grass, but it was done by cheap cowboys. So the garden's not flat. It's not very well done. They use cheap turf, which has, over the last three, four years, now turn to dandelion because you know it just got mad over last winter and it's water all dandelions the whole thing needs to be dug up redone and start from scratch and now that fence panel down the end the posts rotted because they didn't set them properly 
I've also got a panel between me and the house next door going down, which has been threatening to do that for ages. But I've had a word with her and she is not against me taking the whole thing out and putting a trellis up and us growing things up through it. Both sides of us. She's not against us doing that. So yeah, I'm thinking this hole down between the two of us because uh, okay it won't for the next year or so but the fence will stop my dog going on her lawn that's what she was majorly worried about and then in a year or so you know we we will have bushes and hedges and and whatever we'll get something fast growing in there and it should be all right but i don't know what i'm gonna do about down the end i i if i had my way i'd have the fucking breeze block wall back it didn't look pretty but it didn't fall down every time there was a stiff breeze so i'm really really pissed that my sister did this it's just like fuck's sake and of course when I move back in um, my sister didn't pay towards any of the work of getting the house back to how it was when I moved out it looked like a shithole still does I'm still working on it and I'm, I'm not impressed so we've got really really strong winds at the moment um, yeah 25 mile an hour winds southwest I'm never sure how to draw that although I like their little fan that they've got going okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some cloud I'm gonna draw some because it's actually a really really nice day it's just windy and it's gonna be a bit wet later apparently but I'm holding off on the rain just in case it um, doesn't appear it was a bad night it was windy all night long it was windy when I went to bed and I thank God I actually had the foresight to bring in my um, new potted plants because the coleus is very very top heavy and I must have picked it up several times yesterday so yeah right now we've got a high of 21 and a low of 14 now let's see if I can draw this wind symbol that they did it's sort of like a wee fan. Southwest 25 miles. That's the best I could think of to do sort of off the top of my head. Should have written it down over here really I suppose. The sun came up at 5.44 and we'll go down at 8.35. I'm thinking in the future that I might do some kind of involve weekly where this is all in like weekly you know so instead of having all my collections monthly maybe I could have them in weekly what do you think try it for a month I suppose I got the idea from um, plans that blossom I love her her and plentiful and a couple of others they do these weeklies that they just doodle all over and it just looks so nice and then I could put my monthly to do's actually like on the monthly calendar because there's room would you like me to do a different style of set of some, that kind of setup give me more to draw each uh, each week now, plans that blossom she's just started a YouTube channel guys so if you're like interested in having a look at some of her stuff i'd go and have a look at it she just uh, she's just her layouts are beautiful she's just filmed a flip through and she's also on, on instagram under the same name right the day face cream right green witch tarot because that was the first one i pulled out got family again turn a chat is a that's a lot, look. I've had the tower twice and the ten of cups twice. I'm obviously not listening to somebody. I've got family night planned tomorrow. Night. Mom? Yes, we're, darling. We're late. No, we're alright. No, we're late. What's in here? Nothing. I just put more family time, they help you feel grounded. It was nice spending time with Kali yesterday. So that was, uh, that was good. Okay, uh, can't do mood until later. So how did we see, how did we sleep, everybody? Did we sleep well? Hmm, we did. From 
one until eight. So I slept like a bloody log. And I didn't move much either. So not a lot of um, wriggling and stuff going on, you know. I slept well last night. All that exercise. All that fucking stepping. It's insane yesterday. I am so proud of myself and my team because they fucking smashed it. Got to do the scores later on. And find out just how well we did. I have done the loo. Okie dokie today, I need to write some postcards, I've got to go down the road and clean the shower now. But other than that, we are more enough, um, oh bless my mate Andy, she's just texted me, going, are the plants okay? <laughs> I'm just saying to her, um, that I bought, I bought the ones that tend to topple over yeah. inside last night and everything in the ground appears okay but I'll go and check properly in a minute. Okay so, I need to miss the page out then. I'm inclined to put my paper mate flare swatch over here in case it bleeds through that page. And I'm also going to line underneath that page just in case it bleeds heavily because I'm curious to see how they hold up on Tomoe paper which is why I'm not switching them swatching them in my scribbles that matter okay so so if you're not interested in seeing the swatch um, I will see you in the evening edition <laughs> Okay, I have never used paper make flare pens, never. They're really light, really, really, really light. Um, it says paper make uh, flare medium, it doesn't say the color. Um, there's something engraved on the, well, Mexico engraved on the side of the pen clip thing. I think that is an anti choke device in the lid. Yeah, it is. They're thinner than, than I was expecting. So let's have a look. Oh, they're nice. There's like a gazillion green colours in here. That sucks. No, oh, I'm liking these. Does it tell you what the names of the colours are? Oh, no, apparently they do an ultra fine. Oh, I want the ultra fine see the ultra fine ones online that wasn't as red as I was expecting it to be that one was stuck in the thing that seems to be all right nice little pack to carry it in Let's see if I can get that sticky off in a minute no, Daryl, don't keep on. It would probably come off with a bit of persuasion. Toothpaste is good at getting rid of stuff like that. So how did it do? Wow. I wasn't expecting that. I really was not expecting that. That is... To be honest, it's... They're on par with the pens that I use the, Daddy, that's mine. but then again they're paper makes aren't they yeah the paper make ink joy pens without the um, braille effect <laughs> they're really nice I would love to get hold of the finer set but like I said I didn't see those on Amazon I wish I had looked because I but these were on off I think they were about nine quid I think on Amazon so Got it all off. Won't bleed through paper, it says, and they're right, they don't. These are 0 0.7 mil medium point felt tip pens, vivid colours, it says. 
Um, fibre tip pen won't bleed through. Medium point tip produces bold and expressive lines. 0.7 mm to match your personality. Water-based ink won't bleed through paper so your writing stays put. Smudge and fade resistant to keep your page nice and neat. So water-based. So if I get that wet then that's going to smudge. Is that what they're saying? So smudge test. But I put that down to the Tomway River paper, not the pen, because it does sit on there. I suspect if I was willing to sit around and wait for a couple of minutes, like I do with every other pen, um, it wouldn't be an issue. So if it's water-based then, can I pick it up and move it? Yes, I can. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, there you go then. So I'm just dobbing off my uh, brush. So you could quite actually paint with those <laughs> if you really wanted to. Interesting to know. So if I did a picture on the back of this, it's going to pull it through. Okay, so if you're using Papermate Flares and Tomway River Paper, basically I would have to do what I've been doing, which is... I couldn't draw a picture here now and then paint it because of the fountain pen that I've used on the previous page. The water would pull the pa the ink through. What are you doing? Don't touch it. You've been told. Um, so when I think I might draw something, I will either skip ahead and draw it on, say, like this page, and then I'll be able to write on the back once it's all dried, or, um, well, I, I wouldn't be able to draw on there because it would, the water would pull the ink. I use a lot of water. But yeah, that's interesting to know that the paper mates do that. I love the colours. Really, really love those colours. I wonder if I can get the final ones. Have a look. So you've got those, the candy pot ones, those are 0 0.7 mil. Uh, the tropical colour. So I don't know what colour this is then. It just says vivid colours. They've got the tropical colours in 0 0.4. Yeah, this was the one that I... See, yeah, they're just listed in there in a different colour. No, that's the flare original. Ultra thin. Oh gosh, pack of thirty-six candy pop. Seventy-eight pounds. <laughs> what? Fucking hell! That is just ridiculous. I mean, look, they. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, they're different. These are coloured all the way down. These aren't. They're silver. Oh, I'd love them, but I am not paying seventy-six pound for them. Seventy-eight pounds, fifty-three pence, bollocks to that. They do the sixteen pack in candy pop for twenty-two seventy-one. None of the others in the sixteen pack. I can't believe that thirty-six pack. That's ridiculous. It seems like the majority of them you can't get in. Um, 36 and ultra fine in any other colours. That sucks. Amazon UK is crap. It really is. So yeah, I could get the 16 pack in the candy pop. What have they got that's different then? They've got more pinks and purplies and we've got the candy pop six count. Twelve count in the ultra fine. And then the the one that I'm currently looking at, which is the 16 pack. Can't believe that the one double the price of that, the, the double the amount of pens, is like four times the fucking price. That's just outrageous. She wrote just she wrote a review on the 14th of December, saying that they're grey and less ghosting than gel pens in a in a Leuchtturm. And then she said on the 23rd of January that the tips have started to flare out. P 
pen writes well but it has a bolder line black and magenta two pens used more frequently as you can see how they're a bit thicker and then on 24th of may she ended up moving to another pen because they started laying down more ink there are duplicates within the pack apparently quite a few people received bad batches of these Mm. I might play with these for a while in place of the ink dry pens because you know I love my ink dry pens but I don't know whether I can get around the hole that they are so much fatter I do like them though, I like the colours yeah, I like the colours a lot I might have to get on eBay and see if I can find packs on there that is cheaper because on here it's just I hate eBay. You say I want this and they offer you something else instead. Say you want extra fine and they go, oh, well, how about I have a medium? No, if I want a medium, I just search for medium. And they're more expensive on bloody eBay than they are. Hmm. Yeah, I like them, but they are thick. That's the only thing that really bugs me. You guys know I prefer a finer pen. They would do for my trackers, which is what I might use some of them for although I use the other pens but hmm I don't know I mean I couldn't imagine writing the card a day in those because they're just too thick you know but they might do for appointments instead of using the ink joys on the weekly planner love them they're the colors are fantastic i wouldn't mind getting some more just to have a range of colors to use um it's i mean it says they're felt tip pen now in the uk a felt tip pen is something that you color 
in pictures with. I don't know that I'd want to do that with these. These were quite, you know, these were quite pricey for felt tip pens, but it's not like I wouldn't give them to him to use. Look at this smooshy face. Um, I wouldn't give them to him to use because they would get damaged. The tips would get damaged, and it's not the sort of thing I would give a kid. Um, and I think repeated colouring in of pictures with these would damage them to be quite honest writing I think they're they, they're they lovely so I think I might use these on my weeklies you know because I can always switch the teal for lilac in regards because I use teal for Daryl so I would have to switch to lilac for that and then maybe moss for the Fitbit or grape for the Fitbit oh yeah I might Mm. so I might do that on my weekly so you might actually see these a little bit more because it's harder doing this kind of lettering with a uh, such a brutal type of pen really because it, it, it does come through very braille like so I might I might give them a try for next week when I set up next week which will be on the live on Wednesday um, Gosh, we've only got a couple more weeks um, to set up and then we're into fucking September. Da, da, da. I've only got... <laughs> Dara goes back to school on... Oh, Dara's got weeks yet. <laughs> I've got Christmas. Superman. Have you? They're gonna fight you. Are they? Okay. Right. So we're leaving that there. <laughs> but yeah, you should be able to mix and match your two sets of pens if you are an owner of, you know, both the Papermate Flare and any of the Inkjoy gel pens. And I've got them in all the sizes. I've got um. 0.7s, the point threes or whatever they are. Is it point, point three, point four. Oh, point five. Yeah, I've got them in the 0.7, the 0.5 and the 1.0. I found my 1.0 set the other day. But they do write hard on something like Tommy River Paper. No, I love them and it does, that doesn't really bother me. Um, so yeah, they do... I suppose paper make must probably use the same colours across the whole range. I would like to get more of these. I might treat myself to the tropical pack, but I'm a bit miffed to find out that there are some overlaps, which I wouldn't really want. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might check out the paper mate website. I'm sure they've got something. <laughs> what are you? Please don't. Not on my chair. Not on my chair, please buttons today right so we've done the weather so i can click that off so there you go um <laughs> i hope you found that helpful and i will see no, you no, later on oh we have to do the very okay be a thumbs up leave us a comment because we love comments we do love comments so do leave us a comment and kisses yeah. we like kisses too Click your bug. And you'll be subscribed. When? And then click the bell Subscribe. and you'll be notified. When I add new, new content. When we upload new content. Thank you so much for joining us. And um if you're actually here for the today in my bujo, I will be back in the evening edition. If you were just here for this, then thank you very much for joining me. Take it easy guys. Bye. Bye. It's 11 p.m. What have you been doing? Have you had a good day? I hope so. So, I went down the road, cleaned the shower unit down there. God, it was disgusting. People don't realise how grubby showers get. Oh, no. I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you what that's from in a minute. Um, yeah, you don't realise how disgusting showers actually get. They are repulsive things. So, again, I've got two pens here that look bloody sane, but they're not.
<sighs> I have not had any booze. I haven't yet done the challenges, but I'll do that in a sec with you guys. I've had more than one can. And I had chips. I haven't crafted. So I need to do my batch day. Again, I haven't done my garden. But um, it's raining. So, I don't really see the point. I've just done my workout routine. Today was okay. Today was okay. Um, pain hasn't been too bad actually. I hurt a bit now, but that might be because I've just done my workout. So, I'm going to actually bring it down to this one here. I made a bit of a mess doing that. Bit shaky after doing the. I literally just finished the workout, stretched, and sat down. But yeah, all in all, today was a was an okay day. I can't wait for my new case to arrive so that I can actually fit all this crap in it. You know. Good mind. Set an alarm. Seven a bloody clock tomorrow. Daryl didn't get up till late, which means he's only been asleep about 20 minutes. 11 pm. Laundry, because I finally, finally tidied up the pile that's been on my to do list for weeks. Basically, um, I've had this, I've got this massive, massive laundry basket. It holds about four or five loads. And I'd taken it upstairs to empty it around about the time Stuart died and it's been on my floor in my room and we've been living out of this I just take clean clothes out and dump them on top of the already pile that's in the box they're all folded and all that they just don't get put away they've just been dumped into this box which is not ideal and hasn't been ideal and also it meant that it's all in my room adding to making my room being cluttered so um Today, I managed to get Daryl to tidy up his room. When we got home from doing the shower, I got Daryl to tidy up his room. And um, I got all the laundry put away. I have space in my room. It's awesome. Now, I need to create a tab for the papermate flares. I stuck a photo in of my downed fence. But I also spent today doing this. I didn't want, I didn't, my mind wasn't, you know, I didn't have anything in mind to draw. So, um, yeah, I just, I just thought I'd do this. I want to go over the black lines a bit. Oh yeah, that looks better. Just finishes it off really nicely. So yeah, I spent a good few hours doing that today all evening well yeah all evening really <laughs> a good portion of the afternoon and then into the evening just yeah it was good fun I enjoyed it with something to do <laughs> so yeah I may add a little bit more in the way of doodle to it I don't really know um, I quite like it as it looks but I'm thinking I could do like a little a line going that way with a little circle in it in these little triangular type things uh, I don't know I'll see so yeah I'm really really pleased with that really really pleased I'm just lent on the corners about a gazillion times but there you go that'll hold it down so I I'm gonna put a tab in for the paper mate flares I can now finally tick off that I have added the punch boards I have sorted the laundry yay I just got to get the work right out my fucking pen I picked up there. <sighs> so there we go that is me all caught up for the day I've just got to write some postcards to all of you guys because you all wanted postcards. <laughs> so there. Right, I will see you tomorrow. I hope you've had a fantastic day. Um, what's the weather been like? We've had like 
I think it was 60 mile per hour winds predicted. So uh, yeah, it just keeps out the car will blow away. I feel like my head is sunburned. Itch, it's my skin's really tight. You can't see because of the glare, but I just scratched it and that hurts like sunburn. Might be windburn, I suppose. I look like I've got a receding hairline as well. <sighs> I can't be having that. <laughs> Let's go for the scruffy. <laughs> All my fuzzy bits are going on a mad one. I need to do a bit of maintenance, Mikey would say. Sammy, do something about your hair. Because it looks bloody awful, woman. That's because I can't be fucked. I don't care. I do it when it gets really, really, really bad when I just can't stand it anymore. Uh, it's Because uh, it's up in the ponytail most of the time, I don't tend to see how bad it gets. And then I sit and I look at it on camera and I'm like, fuck, dude, you've got so much loose, or frizz, as we call it, so much frizz. But then I'm also, I'm looking in the camera and I'm like, wow, look how long your white has gotten. You know, and it's getting to the point now where I'm almost tempted to chop it so that it is all white, so that I don't have the half and half mix. Oh, you, you guys like this? See that? See that? Right there? That's Daryl's amber teething bracelet. It's been in my locks for what two years now. <laughs> I've got loads of shit like that. I've got this bead. Little owl. He glows in the dark. Uh, oh, we were talking about charm earlier on. I've got a pentagram. Or a pentacle. That's for your charmed and supernatural fans. That's what I got. Anybody work with clay? I've got clay beads. I've got this bead here. This was a gift from my godson. Um, crikey. Five, six years ago. It stays in my hair. It's been accidentally dyed. It's been washed. It's, yeah, it's been in my hair for years and it hasn't fallen into pieces yet. I'm so pleased. And I, it was a Christmas present one year. So, yeah, I've got another wooden bead. I've got some really gorgeous, um, yeah, something else I put in my hair quite a lot is ear stretchers. They make good tunnels. Uh, ah, I've got. Oh yeah, that's a good one. This is one that one of my kids bought me. You see what it is? It's like a flower. <laughs> I got two of these. I've got this one, and then I've got like a another one at the back somewhere. I can never find them when I'm hunting for them. And then somebody usually grabs hold of my hair and goes, it's there. That's it. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit of a magpie when it comes to my hair. So, yeah, anyway, I'm waffling. I'm going. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to leave us a comment, you know, because we like comments and kisses and all that rubbish. And it's 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 good for my channel. And I love you all for doing it because you're all fab. Uh, if you click the book over here in the corner, if you're new, because everybody who usually watches me should have done this by now, click the book and you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell down below and YouTube's in a good mood, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Tomorrow we are prepping for SummerSlam. Mainly because I'm taking Amber's title away from her and she knows it. It's going to cost you a lot to post it. <laughs> I'm, probably, yeah, I'm probably not going to win it. Uh -oh. <laughs> she can explain that down below. Look for Amber's comments down below what I'm talking about. Have a great day and I will see you in Sunday's edition of Today in My Bujo. Take it easy guys. Bye.